Hello YouTube, Maxim60, and I'm back with a, oops, another episode of my Soda Online Rehollow Fragment Let's Play. Last time we left off, we got ourselves started in the Hollow area, and we're going to be going back there. There. Time of this recording, which is, uh, half an hour until mi till the next day, technically. And I think this also just so happens to be, uh, Philia's birthday, I believe. At least that's what it is according to the social media I'm seeing on, at least I'm seeing according to Twitter. Anyway, my microphone probably sounds different now. Now because um, I changed the volume setting on the live commentary settings a little bit in my setup. And I also am setting the microphone right in front of me this time. Unlike the other times it was sitting off a little further from me, but this thing's like less than a foot away from me. So hopefully this time I actually get good sound results. Gonna open a can of soda. Quite loud, I thought it'd be. Hmm, I wonder how I'm supposed to use this fiery necklace. You can't equip it, so it must mean it. Uh, I bumped the thing my microphone's neck on. You can't equip it, so it must mean I'm some. It's some kind of event item. Huh, shape of that necklace. I feel like I've seen it somewhere before. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah. Oh, do you know something about this, Philia? I'm such a terrible voice actor. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I saw the on the westernmost part of Selendis. There was a gate that had the indentation with the same shape as this necklace. I'm probably reading this wrong. But I get for reading so late in the evening. A gate? Yeah, it's sealed and you can't get past it. Sealed with an indentation in the shape of this necklace. Hmm. That sounds like this thing might be the key might be the key. Thanks, Philia. I'll go there right away and try it out. Alright, destination set. If you forget where you're supposed to head, click check the exclamation mark on the map, <coughs> or check the event list. Treasure hunting. You're going to be traveling a long way. Have you stocked up on the items and equipment you'll need? It might be good to return to the base. There are plenty of ways that you can get paid. Get paid in this world. You can take on quests in Arx Via or rack up rewards by clearing hollow missions. Apologies, this is too loud. You can also send equipment. You can also sell equipment you find. Some treasure chests in the hollow obtain valuable, contain valuable items and their con content are replenishable. I can. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Why am I reading this? You can go treasure hunting in dungeons and again and again. Target the treasure chests that are guarded by powerful monsters. Even if you don't want to use a weapon yourself, it may fetch a good price, so seek out profitable treasure chests and reap the rewards. Alrighty, so uh, what did that say again? <laughs> I probably should have just read it. Use the pen at the bridge of Asti Gate, speak to fill the administration area. There's a rumor of beautiful fl Beautiful fl blah, blah, blah. Okay, I already read that one. What have you got for me, Philia? <laughs> She's blushing. <laughs> <laughs> so much for all those uh, treasure hunting skills and stealth skills you were bragging about. <laughs> sure, let's go. That sounds good to me. I'm always happy to help, Philia. So, where is this place? Bump my mic again. Where did you just want an excuse to be with me? <laughs> Or with Kirito, or however you want to do with that. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Let's go. Let's go get that treasure. So where is this place anyway? It's the area beyond the graveyard map. It's like a church. <laughs> a church, huh? Okay, let's go. Destination set. Forget where you're going. Blah 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 blah. 
Your Phoenix will holler here with anyone, but remember to talk to Philia. She may request that you join her for certain requests. I won't be going back to Ark Sophia for quite a while, so I'm probably going to be sticking with Philia for quite some time. Upcoming events may appear on the event list, so, so check it out if you're not sure what to do next. Blah, blah, blah. <sighs> I need to not read so late in the evening because I'm not reading straight. Oh, so if you want. Um, uh, before we do that. Alright, uh, let's see, teleport another area. Uh, so this is gonna be a long route. So, should we go, uh... I think we'll go to the bridge first. So if you're wondering why it took me so long to get those, uh, those most recent uploads I did up, main reason why is because, uh... <laughs> Any reason why is because um, I had some other games I was playing at the time that I was binging. Most um, <laughs> Persona 5 Royal and Persona 5 Strikers, they kind of took up a lot of my time. I actually did consider Let's Playing them, but um, but um, I didn't do it because it's like... There are some times there are those games where I just... Hold on, before I uh, go into that, I need to take a look at this. There's some games I feel like I'd rather not have, uh... And no, it's like you... Look... <laughs> it's hard to explain, it's like you don't want to... Not really have to worry about what other people think of how you play them, you know? I'm not... It's just... That's the best I can describe it. it but... I guess I'm a bit more comfortable in this game, I guess. Yeah, I'm probably not making any sense right now. I guess a better way to describe it is um, is, um, people not necessarily liking the way I play the game, you know? That's the best way I can describe it, but... I will say, though, I, I know, I like the games. <laughs> games. A lot of my other friends, they were more well versed in Persona before I was, so I was kind of out of the spin, out of the spin when they were. Um, uh... Do I need it? Oh, damn it! Okay, I'm gonna kill this thing. I'm gonna go head back the other way and see if that's where I need to go. But yeah, a lot of my. My old gaming crew, um, a lot of them were more up up on the Persona stuff, and I was kind of the outlier. Liar, so, after I kind of got into it more, I can kind of see why they like the series so much. But I actually am planning to getting um, uh, Persona 4 Golden on the uh, on Steam. I don't have anything that's backwards compatible with a play for to get Persona 3. Uh, actually, I do have a PlayStation 2, but my only problem is... Uh, <laughs> Getting a, I don't have any working controllers for it. And so maybe I can look for Persona 3 on the. Okay, is this the right way to the? Uh... Hold on, where's the map? Okay, I gotta get to the sunken armory, which is that direction. I pull out my map a lot. I probably told you guys that already. <laughs> yeah, can't get in that way. All oh, right, these just these things in here aren't locked. Oh, this door over here ain't locked. While I'm here, here, I don't remember if I showed you guys how to work those those lock chests back there or not, but um. <clears throat> I'm just gonna do them anyway, just to, uh, in case. My phone went off. I probably already showed you guys this, but I'm forgetting. But just I forgot that I did. But just in case, what you gotta do is go into this room here, defeat the slimes. Names. Go in this room here, defeat all these golems. But 
Anyway, other games I do plan on Let's Playing, aside from the SAO games. Um, the thought of redoing my Cinderon Kagura Let's Plays are kinda tempting, to be honest with you. It's just, I don't know if I necessarily want to um, uh, buy them again, to be honest. Another thing, too, that I think, too, is, um, uh, I don't remember how many guys watched my Estival Versus stuff, but, uh, and when I de covered the DLC fighters, or char playable characters, Ayane from Dead or Alive, apparently the, uh, licensing or something, I don't know how it works, that let her be in the game, apparently expired, so, she, Ayane is no longer available for downloadable content from the PlayStation Store. Or, but apparently, if you still kept her on your console, you'll be fine. I don't know if I still have her or not. <laughs> that's, uh, that's something a little worried about. Uh, because if I ever did redo my Let's Play and play completely with this Elgato, I wouldn't be able to go over that again. And there's another game I want to do a Let's Play Tough 2 on the Switch. I don't remember what it was called. It was like some, uh, well, two games actually. I guess one was like some mystery detective like game that would, for a long time, was a Japan exclusive. I'm tempted to look at my Switch right now just to, just to see what it was called. Also, just uh, give me a second here. Actually, I'll do that in a second here. Alright, so. Okay, so a few more of these to beat. Okay, this video's gone for like 11 minutes according to this thing. I try and make these videos not go over an hour. Or get close to an hour. That's what I try to avoid. Okay, so if I did that right, this door over here should open. Right after you defeat all those. Yep. Okay, so the thing with these enemies here is, um, each one. Every enemy has a weakness to attack types, thrust, slash, blunt. And each of these enemies, the. Well, basically, you have to attack these things with their weakness, or you're not gonna do any damage whatsoever. The, uh. I was at a higher level the first time I did this, so this might be a little overwhelming for me. Actually, since those things are like that, I'm just gonna have this. Pulled up my, I put my Switch in the handheld mode just so I can look at the eShop. And my accuracy is horrible. Do I have that target, that uh, accuracy buff? Yes, I do. Alright, let's go away. You know what's really annoying about the about one of the higher level enemies is like you're gonna have to worry about not hitting very often. You probably hear my uh trigger map my, my uh stick map my, my uh not my stick, my fucking Oh my god. My button mashing. But yeah, you can see how bad my accuracy is here. At this point, my blade's not poisoning as often as I'd like it to. Oh, there it is. I don't know if those do much damage to this thing in particular. I think daggers do, like, um, uh... Um... I think they do have both slash and thrust. I don't know, I barely ever used that. The only time I ever equipped other weapons is if the game like forced me to, like in one instance. Or if um, I want to just grind up skill points I can use for um, unlocking skills. So it'd be this one. And that one over there is uh, weak to clubs. So let me see here. Or weak to blunt, I should say. Do I have any... Uh... Yes, I do. Which of these is strongest? I thought I saw one for 400, but I thought that must be me seeing things. Okay, one of these two is the better one. Um, what's this one? Now, what do I have for skills on this thing? Barely any. 
I'm just gonna get myself another sword skill to work with. Alright, take on this thing. Even with clubs, they don't exactly have the best DPS. I think they call this term burst damage, I think. I don't know, I don't play, I'm not... I don't play a lot of RPGs, really, or MMOs, so a lot of this stuff is uh, pretty foreign to me. At least these terms are, anyway. Okay, Perry doesn't work on that. I'm missing. Yeah, this may take a while. Am I mashing my my uh my circle button? I can look and see what this uh, game was called. I was gonna do let's play up while I just look at my list. Yeah. Okay, what's annoying too is when you switch weapons, it changes your palette around. So you want, and so that may throw you some people off. Okay, I'm not doing this. <laughs> I'm not wasting that much time. But basically, oh shit. Basically, the story is, um, I think the- Oh god. Rod! Rod, you fuck! <laughs> I hope that didn't spike the mic too bad. But, um, anyway, as I was saying... Hey, the- Shit, 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 shit. Get me the fuck out of here. Alright, I forgot. Get me out, get me out, 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 out. out. Anyway, the knight's weak to thrust attacks, the slime's weak to slash attacks, ow. Next in the gold's weak to blunt attacks, so... You have to specifically use those type of attacks to kill those enemies, and then the, all those chests and those four chests in that room will unlock. It may not be necessarily be... When you get higher levels, like, isn't there, well, the loot's not gonna be that worth that much, but... For, um... Equipment value, but... Still a decent source of money you can keep coming back to if you found yourself strapped for cash, strapped for cash, whatever that saying is. Is all right. I'm not. I wonder how much time I wasted doing that. Okay, the game I was doing the last play of on the Switch was um, uh, Famicom Detective Club. Of two of their game, I think it was like a bundle set for the Switch. I think, uh, do these open on their own? Yeah, they do. High SP potions. I never really use the SP potions. Oops. One thing that did occur to me when I, play, when I was, uh, when I was about to start this up again was, uh, I'm probably gonna switch my weapons back, but a thought that did occur to me was, um, was, uh, I don't know how often I'll be getting CGI scenes or CGI images, so that's gonna make it harder for me to make a thumbnail. <laughs> off the like randomly find dialogue spots or some part of the map just to take a screenshot of and make a thumbnail of. <laughs> Cause uh, the ones with CGI images make it easy for me, while the other, while the ones that don't make it difficult. Uh, let's see, equip this. Where's my blades? Okay, where's my blade? My good weapon. That. Yep, that's my other good one. Alrighty. Could have sworn that this was the place, wasn't it? Hold on. Yeah, I'm close. I really wish that these things you could just <laughs> okay. okay they're, they're kind of higher level than me, but um, since I have my XP thing on, I'll get a little more um, uh, buff on. I'll get a little more experience from these guys. I think I'll get like around a uh, few hundred, I believe. Some of these things don't kill me first. 
my luck, it's highly possible. Let's see. Okay, those give up. Okay, that one's rad, so this one's a bit more dangerous. My uh, second monitor for my um, uh, Elgato is like computer uh, different this time. The old one I was using uh, quit working on me. The TV quit wouldn't turn on. And so I kind of had to use this extra one that I got from my, my one of my cousins. It's the only one that doesn't have a remote the picture. The, the screen doesn't fit in the picture. The picture doesn't fit in the screen. Yeah, I don't have a remote to fix it, so that's kind of a bitch. It'd be nice if this way out was just a straight shot out of the fucking... Kill this fucking black wasp. An onyx killer. Could that thing kill an onyx? Be hard to sting on onyx. <laughs> that's a Pokemon joke. I won't open from this side. Yeah, am I really going the right way? Fuck off. Okay, that's a name monster. I did not know that. Probably small for a name monster. I should probably just name this episode Lost in the Hollow Area, because I cannot navigate for shit. Oh, wait. Is this one of those ones where I have to do a, like, a... I have to do a lot of fucking, uh, wild goose chases just to get around. Okay, what am I missing? Okay, we open that now. Can't get in there. My Discord. But yeah, my um uh, previous SAO let's play I did. I mean my uh my first SAO Hollow Fragment let's play. <laughs> it's funny that one of my videos has like my most viewed video is one specific video from that playlist. <laughs> And it's uh, one from a specific event involving silica and uh, something. I swear it has like a. <laughs> it has like uh, several hundred views, but it's like I look at my analytics and they say the view are like a few minutes or a couple seconds maybe. They're probably just like, oh boy, something I like. Nope, just a horrible quality video. So they click off. I guess that means the clickbait's working, I guess. I'm very tempted to see what happens in my analytics if I just shut that off, I will move, I'll move that video or something. Okay, I see what's going on here. It's a, it's expecting me to go the long fucking way. Okay, I'm too lazy to backtrack all the way, so, uh, actually, do I, can I steal one of these from you, Asna? Yep, I'm just gonna steal this from you. <laughs> Taking a sip of soda. Okay, now that we're done with that little uh, fucking fucking goose chase, um, hopefully it won't be too hard to get down there. So, coffee burns guy, so Wendy's front square. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Alright, so the hollow map says this section here B dance B dance sprawl which is uh down there. Have fun fighting those boneheads. Just double checking. Yep, this is the right way. Oh yeah, so I like I did say a while back I wanted to do a Let's Play the Galgun series. Here's which. 
I'm not sure when I'm gonna do that. It's like, I want to do it, but it's like... But, um... I think most of the time whenever I do these Let's Plays, I always just dedicate myself to one series, and then I'll just... When I finish that, I usually just go on the next one, but... I don't know, I might try and record those alongside this one, maybe? I just feel like I might fall into the pitfall of just um, having one get overshadowed by the other. Now that one says north, and this thing says I need to go uh, uh, west. So that's the way I need to go. Hollow mission up here. Okay, I'm gonna do these hollow missions because I'm um, uh, something that. Something that I wound up getting asked about a lot in this game, my. I surprisingly get asked about a lot was these requests for Kirito that you get that you gain access to at some point in time in the game, which you'll see when I get to there again. Okay, it's a, it looks dark on my fucking on my monitor here. I mean my game TV here, but on my uh, Elgato monitor because of the color settings it's on for some reason it looks daylight. <laughs> But a part involving the request for Kirito is the having to refight the hollow bosses. This is, which they appear again as random hollow missions, but some of them only reappear if your like area rank is high and higher than one, I think. That's usually been the case for me and other people. Well, and uh, raise your hollow rank by getting hollow points through missions. So I may as well just get this one out of the way. First time I tried this, the, these little fuckers kicked my ass, but um, hopefully it'll be fine. The reproductive season for monsters that di didn't even let me read it. And after that, we will head to um uh, the. F okay, I'm trying to remember why these were such a problem. It's because they're hard to hit. <laughs> I probably just have this targeting thing in my my uh my uh, palette maybe. Ten of these little shits. These love bugs. If I can kill some moths in this game, that'd be nice. I think I have a pantry moth problem in my house in my room at least. Yeah, I probably complain about it in the past, but they're still around. I think they have like a nest somewhere I need to find. I bought some traps from my local feed store, but uh, they did nothing. Did you guys hear my stomach rumbling? That sounded pretty loud. Oh yeah, this test also helps me. Doing this also helps me test these implementations. Apparently it only works if it only works if I hit them, so it's if I miss, that sucks. But I think the skills just fine. See if that helps me at all. Much better. I feel like this weapon was different when we were in the uh, previous place. Alright, just uh, one more bug and that should do it. I just gotta wait for it to respawn. Okay, there's one. Pretty sure these dual blades, like, one tap counts as two because of dual weapons, I think. I could be wrong. Okay, I got that done. Alright, got that done. Okay, let's move on. But yeah, Galgun, the other SAO games, possibly Senran Kagura, Tamacon Detective Club, I plan on touching those. I plan on touching up on those eventually. Well, 
Phantom Comet Detective Club and uh, Yaogun are the only games I have set in stone right now for what I'm going to do. I do have some other games I'm strongly considering doing. It's just I'm not... Playing them might be a risk for me. Okay, you might understand why if you see what they are, but... Okay, this episode looks like it's getting like around 30 minutes according to my... Hit the 30 minute mark according to my uh, software here. So what I'm going to do is, assuming I'm reading this hollow map right... I'll go to the Church of the Encounter here. Here, which is where they want... Where we're supposed to go for helping fill it with a treasure, I believe. Keep that's north, so I need to go down... Uh, that way? Wait, yeah, that way. And there's one of those forest in these places. Beautiful, I love that. Yeah. Oops. Bought my headphones. I swear I hate navigating this game at some times. And that really doesn't really help speed at all. This should be the way to go. But yeah, aside from just playing Persona 5 and Persona 5 Strikers a lot, taking up my time. Um, uh, my sleep schedule kind of went to shit, because... Yeah, I do, usually what I do when I want to reset my sleep schedule is just pull an old all-nighter. But I think I went the wrong way. Shit, I got too preoccupied. Yep, I did, I think. Eh, son of a bitch. Okay, because I'm a damn idiot. I gotta go all the way back over there. <laughs> Spending how long this uh, thing, this uh, treasure hunting thing takes with Philia, I may wrap the episode up there and then take a look at the uh, the gate that they want that we we're supposed to check out. I guess the dinner I had wasn't enough, I guess. I tried some uh, some deep-fried alligator meat. It's a meat I wanted to try for a long time. I mean, I finally tried it. And it kind of tastes like deep-fried fish, to be honest with you. At least that's what it tastes like to me. It, of course, I probably might have cooked it wrong. If there's any uh, guys down from Louisiana or Florida or anywhere else down south that eats gators, uh, let me know how, how you guys prepare it. Next time, whenever that may be, I can do it properly. But as you can probably tell from my upload, my quote-unquote upload schedule. Well, um, I don't really have a solid upload schedule, but if I do have something available to upload, I'll try and have it up by me. If I have a video ready, I'll try and have it up the next day by day by uh, midnight. I mean, not midnight, uh, fucking, uh, my noon at least. Get those down here. All right, check the hollow map. Oh, what am I doing? I probably could have just warped there. Okay, apparently that wasn't registered before. So that'll make things a lot more helpful. Pretty sure you just gotta go in here then hang a right somewhere, I thought. This is the right place, right? Yeah. So I believe I go here and then hang a. I know. I remember it's on the right side. Yeah, there it is. Now, will this be able to start, or I have to kill this damn thing? Why can't it be like an Ironcrad when I can just ignore these things and make it a lot more convenient? 
Uh, no, quality of life stuff is not allowed apparently. We're here. So this is it. The door is hidden. If we can, if we can figure out how to, how to the release mechanism, we should be able to continue. <laughs> and there it goes. I'm counting on you to get rid of the monsters. Yeah, leave it to me. Okay, big old golem. Hopefully, um, I can do enough damage with my mini skewed little swords. So that's it. Yeah, let's stay focused. The uh, name Monster Sanctuary. I got used upon the Xbox One again, and the buttons are a little different there, so I got to get you. I uh, kind of mess me up. I thought it was done. Kind of underwhelming compared to when I last did it. Of course, I think I'm a little higher level than I was at the time. And a Grim Reaper decided to show its uh, almost not to us. Yeah. Yeah. I'll see my. Okay, um, I'm just gonna let this play. Oh, we'll get back to that sock when I um afterwards. Whew, that was one tough enemy. Kirito was so good. Then send the Kuridaka Takairanante. So, so got Korea Kugumi. You're really impressive, too, Philia. You wouldn't look at a place in the front salt team at all. Homesigidayo. Hometemo. I'm just telling the truth, that's all. <laughs> I just wanna hopefully this, I'm just wanna test to make sure this is the right button. Just okay, that's how you drop the <laughs> drop the text box. Like I said, I may need to take a to make a screenshot from these random dialogue scenes. Philia, be careful! You really can be like a child sometimes. I didn't think you would think it at first, but there's something kind of cute about Philia. <laughs> this makes me think of like a little kid on Christmas. Okay, okay, I'm coming. It's not a mimic, is it? Really? You can you dis you can disarm it? <laughs> no, that's not what I meant. Tell <laughs> proud of herself she is. Right, well, I guess you've got it under control then. Well, that was quick. <laughs> Little treasure? Well, that looks pretty rare. <laughs> You're so cute. Oh, um, I just said that you're you're cute. You know, like a kid sister. <laughs> I might just make this my thumbnail here if I can't think of anything else. <laughs> Well, that's not really what I meant. No, you are, but um. Wait a minute. Huh? Really? But you found it, Philia. I'm 
Well, okay. Thanks, Philia. You got the light ring ex <laughs> finger accessory, or uh, light finger, as uh, another YouTuber who I watch would call it. <laughs> of course, I'll take good. I'll take care of it. Then we're gonna get. Okay, I forgot about this. Okay, it's time to head back to the administration area. Huh? What's what's the, what's that? The キリトはアインクラットに一旦戻るんだよね。シュ。ザタロケマイク。え、どうしたのキリ。ビクワイト。ロックオブザフィリア。どれ。There. Yeah, looks like they're fighting. In fact, it looks like they're all ganging up on this one player. You wait here, Philia. Hey, what are you doing? Target is Wait! Blast, that was too late. I try and put more emphasis, I pour effort into the voice acting, should, uh, if it wasn't so late in the evening. And I didn't want to worry about spiking my microphone. Listen, Vilya, the player that who just died, did you see his status? Status elements. He was paralyzed and bleeding at the same time. Mobilizing the victim before delivering the final blow. This method seems familiar. I think it's time to call it a day, Philia. Okay, I'm getting to the close to the 43 minute mark. Seriously, Philia, why don't you come back to Minecraft for a bit? It's too dangerous here, surrounded by these guys. Obviously, your orange cursor means you can't go inside the safe zone. You can get attacked by the guard and you're carried away. But if you teleport somewhere else, like a village outside the safe zone, you should be able to make it back safely. Philia. <laughs> Well, okay, but take care of yourself, alright? Oops. Okay, this leads me back here. Alrighty, I'm gonna wrap this episode up here because this is generally the ideal video length I like to have. Hope you enjoyed this episode. I like me if you did. Hit subscribe if you want to see more content like this. this is, I'm Axel 360, and I am out. I got to rename that, didn't I?